Philips scan issues in HP Office Z Pro 8025 all-in-one printer. Open your browser and in address bar you just need to type the website which is support.hp.com and just press the enter key. Then you will find this website where you just need to scroll down and in below you will find here a box. You need to type the printer model name in this box. As you can see I have typed the printer model name and this is exact match with the printer which I am looking for. So I will click on it. After clicking this page will open where you can see printer model name and its image. And now you just need to scroll down and you will find troubleshooting section. And second one which is software drivers and firmware. Just click on it. After clicking this page will open where you can see all driver for this printer. So there are various drivers available for various operations. So we are going to fix scan issues. So we need to select this one which is diagnostic tool fixes installation and driver issues. So just click on plus icon. And you will find its name which is HP print and scan doctor for windows. Click on this icon you will find all detail about this driver. So we are going to download it by clicking here. After clicking as you can see download is started with the file name of hppstr.exe and it is completed now. I am going to launch it by clicking on this arrow icon and now click on open. as you can see it is completed now as you can see HP print and scan doctor is launched and it will fix and find problems in only two steps as you can see on the screen so all you need to do is just click on a start button but before that make sure your printer and your PC should be powered on and it should be connected in same wireless network so I'm going to click on the start now it is searching for the printer available in the same network. As you can see there is no any printer available. But if any printer will be detected in your network then it will display you here. You can select that click on next and follow on screen instructions to fix scan issues. So that's all in this video. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you want any further help you can call us on the given number in this video description or click on support link.